Hello, I've designed an entire vocal warm-up sequence around straw phonation or singing through a straw. If you don't have a straw handy, you can do these on different semi-occluded vocal tract sounds like vv or zzz, or even sing into your semi-closed fist like this. So go ahead and grab your straw or anything else you need and let's get started. Let's go ahead and start on some slides like this. Now, as you're working on these straw exercises, make sure there's no air coming through your nose. You can check it like this. And also no air escaping out of the sides of the mouth. We want the back pressure of the straw to work in our favor for these exercises. You'll also want to keep checking for tension and keep yourself aligned as usual. Now, breathing naturally, let's take that exercise we just did and turn it upside down like this. Your lips should be gently rounded, thinking of an ooh as we sing. Let's move to a major arpeggio that will sound like this. to experiment with different diameters of straws. They'll feel different and you'll find that some feel more effective and some might not feel as good for you. So in this case, I've just doubled up to see how that feels. This will let a little bit more air flow without quite so much back pressure. So let's do an arpeggio like this. So next I'd like to practice singing in and out of the straw. We're going to go back to this one five one slide, but this time, first time we'll sing into the straw, second time we'll sing it on an E. I like to do this all in one breath, like this.
let's turn that around and do our 515 exercise upside down from what we just did. This time let's go a little slower, so I'm going to go ahead and take a breath in between. Nicely done. Sometimes this can get just a little bit messy with the condensation, so you might want to keep a towel or a tissue handy. For this next part of our vocal warm-up, let's go from straw phonation to singing an ooh like this. Okay, great. Take a moment to check in with your body and your breathing or release any undue tension. The downside to doing a bunch of singing exercises in a row with a straw is that you might have developed a little bit too much tension in your jaw or your mouth or maybe in your arms from holding it up. So we don't want to stay in this position too long. It's a good idea to take a little break and shake it out. Okay, let's bring in a little bit more range. Let's try a full octave major arpeggio like this. First on a straw, then on E ah. Here we go.
Okay, so for this next exercise, we're going to mix three different warm up techniques. We'll start with a lip trill on, on, then we'll go to the straw, then let's open up to a ma sound. You'll need to figure out your breathing pattern for this, but if we can keep it free flowing, that's ideal. Okay, fantastic. Now, as you head into your singing practice today, I'd encourage you to keep your straw handy and use it similarly going in and out of your music. So if I had a song that went one, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one, four times in a row, yikes, that would be a really boring song. I might do something like this. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. I hope you've enjoyed today's straw phonation warm up. Thank you for singing with me. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Are we singing today? <laughs>